Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9pm UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our earwax removal video today. So as you can see in this patient's ear here, we've got some very, very dry earwax. Now this patient is a regular patient of ours. They come through about every sort of three to four months to have this done. Uh, the wax they form is always very, very dry and forms in plates as we can see here. So because it's quite a thin angular plate, I'm using the crocodile forceps to get a grip on this section to take this away first. The reason being is when we use suction, we can't get a grip on the wax because it's so angular. So if we use the uh, the crocodile forceps, it helps to, uh, to pull this out. Now, the patient suffers a lot with dry skin in their ear canals, and the difficulty when you have dry skin is it tends to dry that wax out a lot, so that's where you get these harder pieces here. Um, you will see lots of little flakes of dry skin. It's almost like um, like a psoriasis or an eczema in the ear canal, which uh, like a, a very dry type of eczema. So um, you can see we've got a good grip here on the second piece. Just taking that out there. Lovely, that came away nicely. We can see now we've got much, much deeper, drier sections. Uh, it always tends to form um, in this particular patient's ear canals, there's lots of different sections layered one over the top of the other. So I'm just trying to get rid of some of this drier skin you can see that started to flake away here at the entrance. And then as we get a grip, on this side section then just trying to detach that from the canal wall when it does dry on the canal walls as it does here then what you'll see is that it really really sticks to that canal wall it really kind of adheres to it so just pulling that section there now we've lifted that you can see it's quite a long section there trying to hold on to it with the standard size ulna tube here but can't quite get a grip so we're going to bring the crocodile forceps into play again and just going to grip. You can see it's a slightly softer texture there at the top. So some pieces are a little bit drier than others. And we'll get a good grip on that. You can see that piece coming away. It's quite a long section. Look at that coming out of the ear canal there. And there we are. So that deeper section was attached to it. So you can see those drier pieces in the centre, which are the, the sort of darker sections there, and those lighter sections around the outside, uh, which are the, the sort of more the dry skin pieces around the outside there. So you're just going to take away some of these uh, some of these little dry skin pieces with long strips like that. It tends to whistle a bit when you get hold of it with suction, so it doesn't come away straight away. I tend to go in and use the uh, the crocodile forceps then to detach it. Because of the type of condition this this uh, this patient has, you're not going to be able to remove all this dry skin from in there. Um, unfortunately, that is just going to keep forming all the time. So we're just going to get a grip on this top section here and we're just taking that away now there we are just lifting that off the canal there we it's coming away there we go so that's detached some of the dry skin with it there as well and we've got these harder wax pieces and this one here to the left hand so you can see how well attached that is to the canal wall there we are, just taking that away. You've got that ring of dry skin in there as well. The difficulty with this, especially this type of dry skin, uh, and I know from uh, past experience with this patient, if we start peeling this along, the skin is so dry, it does tend to, to just tear the, the sort of almost the top layer of skin. So you do sometimes get a little bit of bleeding with these. Um, so what I've done, I've elected to leave most of these little flakes of dry skin in here because it's just going to run the risk of infection and everything else. And obviously with the current climate, with people not being able to get to the uh, to their GPs as, as well as they normally would be, we decided we'd leave a lot of this dry skin for this time. But we've gotten these larger pieces of, uh, of wax away here. There we go. You can see just how firmly that's attached look, to the canal walls. So rather than peel it upwards, what I'm going to do is use the Jobson horn and just bring that along the top of this dry skin. And what that will do is instead of lifting it and causing a tearing action against the skin, um, it's actually dragging along the surface, which so bringing it along and down with the direction of skin flow, if you like. So as the skin migrates to the outer part of the ear canal, it's a bit like um, working with the grain, if you like, of the skin rather than against it, that kind of thing. So just getting some of these looser, littler pieces of wax away 
there we go and this little dry piece here at the top which is what blurred our camera just a second ago now we can see now that when you look a bit further in you've got little tiny pieces of hard wax much much further and very close to the eardrum tucked into that valley so we've got to be really careful here just to get a grip there we are you can see what initially looked as a very small piece of wax was actually quite a large chunk sat down there next to the eardrum and if we look again we'll see a piece just off to the right hand side there that we can see so we're just going to try and aim of this Now we talk about this valley in front of the eardrum quite a bit now you can see that you can only just about see the leading edge which makes it a difficult place to take it away from um, we've got the fine end on here which is going to be helpful you can see a little bit just flicked up against the uh, the suction there so we've just got that little piece away but there is another piece a bit further in so we're aiming you can just about see it there so it's very delicate we're trying not to press too hard against the canal wall trying not to touch the eardrum so we're working a very very tiny space there we go there's that piece you saw it flick up towards the camera there so you can see you can get quite large pieces down inside that valley there here we are let's take a look at the eardrum that eardrum looks nice and healthy now it's good so we're going to move on to the second ear now. So you can see a very similar issue here on the second ear. Lots of wax just inside the uh, just inside the canal. So we're going to use the crocodile forceps again for this one. Get a grip on this angular piece at the front section here, and using gentle but steady pressure just to take this out very very slowly, just to uh, try and avoid any tearing or breaking of the wax. There we are, that came away nicely. You can see that nice piece there. And then we can see we've got a little bit of a gap there at the top. A little bit of dry skin as well at the top of that ear canal. And all around the sides there. So we're going to use the St. Bart's hook now just to come in and get behind this piece of wax. I'm looking to aim there. Now, could you see the first time we went in, we just touched the back end of the wax. It didn't, we couldn't get the full turn to the, the St. Bart's hook. But as we went a little tiny bit further in, we got that full turn. Shows me behind the wax there. And we'll just use this now just to maneuver this last section away. There we are. Just slowly pulling this down the canal. So we're using the St. Bart's hook here just to roll this dry section of wax down. You can see we've just it's really stringy because it's attached to the uh, dry skin as well there so that's come away in that one nice big chunk uh, we've actually got stuck a little piece stuck there in the bowl of the ear so we'll just lift that bit up with a bit of suction there we are and uh, if we take a look behind that you can see we've taken the majority of that uh, wax away we've got this drier skin debris here so this is bits quite loose so we'll be able to take this off quite easily there we are that's a lot better and then if we go behind that now we can get to this next section just slowly peeling this little bits down you can see quite just you know just how hard that uh, that wax is and how well it's attached to the top of the canal there just trying to get some of these looser bits of wax debris away oh, there we go you can see that one's starting to peel a little bit more across the top there there we go. you can see these see the looser dry skin section there we go starting to peel away a little bit more there now and now if we take a look at the eardrum the eardrum looks good so we're just going to do the same trick again now with the jobs and horn we're just going to be able to uh, pull along this section now now the reason I haven't done that with a deeper section it's difficult to get behind that and it's ultra sensitive down there in that that sort of inner third of the ear canal so when you're pressing down on that with the jobs and horn it's really quite uncomfortable uh, and the last thing we want is for the patient to, to sort of flinch or uh, for us to, to sort of drag this along and cause any bleeding in there so we're just going to take these few little looser bits of dry skin away just getting that bottom section, just trying to pull that out as well. There you go, you can see that little bit we're working on there just to get rid of that at the entrance there. And the last little bit there just to get rid of that looser section. Now it's difficult to clean the top, which you'll see now because obviously it's very difficult to put pressure on it 
with the angle of the Jobson horn, but we're trying our best here just to get rid of those bits and break those away. So yeah, you can see the eardrum there. We've got a good light reflex there as well. So this is what we removed. Uh, so we've got bang on two inches there and uh, oh, just under five centimeters if we could add a little bit of dry skin as well. Well, as always guys, take care and I shall see you on Friday. Thank you very much for watching our video today. If you did enjoy the video, then please like. If you're not subscribed already and you'd like to do so, you can click the subscribe button here. If you'd like to check out some more of our videos, they're also up there. Now, if you want to follow us, you can do on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us. As always, guys, until the next time, take care.